It's Morphin' Time! Hello, this is Sanat here, and welcome back to Model Kit Monday. Today we'll be taking a look at the Gundam Factory Yokohama RX-78 F-00 Gundam NG Dock Set. Now this has a sort of complicated history behind it, and I do want to go into that. But before we begin, I do want to say uh, thank you to everyone that's watched my videos over the years. Today is the anniversary of my channel. Uh, we're going on 12 years of Sound Out 12. Uh, and I really probably should have planned something bigger for this, but after rundown month, I was a little drained. Um, but maybe we'll do something special throughout the year. But I also thought this would be a special occasion because this is a non-standard released model kit. Uh, for those that don't know, somehow, there is a full-size moving Gundam in Japan at Yokohama, uh, specifically on Yamashita Pier. There is the Gundam Factory Yokohama, which allows for a tour of how they built it, a little museum exhibit, as well as going to see the full-size Gundam itself. And, of course, because this was sponsored by Bandai Sunrise and parts of the Japanese government, uh, there is a ton of merchandise that can be purchased at Gundam Factory Yokohama. Me, personally, I did not go to Gundam Factory Yokohama. Uh, the global crisis has kind of restricted a lot of those things. I hope to make it there uh, someday in the near future when, you know, it's safer to do so. But in the meantime, I said, okay, I went on my, my favorite secondhand import shop, found a, a decent price on this, and said, all right, I want this, I really want this, I'm going to get this. This is commemorating something incredibly special. Now, this kit isn't a high grade. Uh, it's not graded as high grade. None of the uh, actual kits released for this are graded. Um, but this is essentially a high grade version of the F-00, which is the new design for the Yokohama Gundam. Um, so yeah, this is the box. It comes in a nice tower box, full color. Uh, you can see on the side here, it does include the actual dock scaled to it, as well as weapons, so it functions as an actual Gundam as well. Um, this kit was also being sold on Premium Bandai in Japan, so hopefully that allows for more availability. Um, but as for anyone outside of Japan, I am not sure how you're going to get this from any official means. So hit up the middlemen's and them import shops uh, if you're looking for it. But I do want to show off this very special kit, so let's get to it. I want to point out the fact I love the instruction book because, much like a lot of the recent Gundam kits ever since Bandai switched over to this blue logo for Bandai Hobby, uh, it's in English. So you have Japanese and English text kind of talking about the Gundam Factory Yokohama backstory, what is Gundam Factory Yokohama, there. Um, there's also a painting and marking guide. And then the back is a, what is Gunpla? Here are some Gunpla. What is Gundam? So it's very informative. If you're a tourist, you didn't know what Gundam was, you went to go see the giant robot that was on, you know, Yamashita Pier. Uh, and then you're like, oh, let me buy this. And then it gives you kind of a little brief history. So super cool stuff. So here's the completed Gundam dock and Gundam. For full disclosure, all I did was straight build this and apply all the decals. I didn't do any additional panel lining work. So this is kind of what you'd expect right out of the box. And yeah, this thing's amazing. Uh, so first of all, I love the details on this kit, especially with you know the Gundam dock. This is one giant sticker down here. And then up here, you can see the numbers for each level, which is really nice. And these lined up pretty good overall. I was really worried when these were all individual uh, decals, but turned out pretty good. Like you say, we've got the catwalks out here. The Gundam itself is on the G-Carrier, which is inside there. You've got kind of the lattice look to it. Um, it doesn't have the stairwells or the walkways kind of detailed out. I know the back section has, like, glass stairs to get up to this area. Um, but, you know, it it's it's a pretty good replica overall, especially considering it's a 1-144 scale kit. This is pretty much, it gives you the ideas. There's the catwalks. Um, it doesn't have any of the lower ones. It's pretty basic down here. But up here, it's got enough to replicate the look. And I, I really do appreciate that. Because, yeah, you look at this, and it's like, yeah, that's a scale model of the Yokohama Gundam. The cool part is, is if you got some 1 to 144 scale people, um, like I got, I collect real grades, so I got a bunch of these. But uh, we've got, you know, this is a Zex Marquis here. So if you want him to come take a look at the Gundam, 
Uh, some of the ones on these smaller catwalks will have trouble, but like Benazir Lynx should be able to fit, maybe? Okay, their little stands failed them. Benazir's there in the corner. If you want Shrey's Kushranata here, just uh, causing all kinds of problems for people by just posing. Yeah, that. Um, so yeah, you got kind of like, you know, if you have 1 to 144 scale people, like down there, Setsuna's is about to get run over by the, the gun and once it starts moving, um, Ensign Ready here can go can go there. Uh, full frontal can... Stand, can you stand underneath? Yeah, you can actually fit them underneath. It's really hard to do. I'm, I'm doing this on camera, but if you want scaled people, uh, you gotta buy real grades. <laughs> Because it doesn't come with any, but if you do have scale people, you can actually have them kind of posed looking at the Gundam, which is pretty cool. I wanted to focus in up here at the catwalks because these two in particular always stuck out to me, especially this one here that leads right to the cockpit area, uh, which is pretty cool. And I gotta say that I love the way that this looks like an actual mobile suit hanger. Uh, this is going for the design of the actual uh, Yokohama Gundam factory, but also this kit. Um, it just looks amazing. Like, you can take photographs of this in pretty much the same angles you could see it in real life, and that's pretty incredible, and I, I do really like that. Uh, but I think it's about time for this guy to start walking. So much like the real Gundam dock itself, you can fold the catwalks out to complete clearance. And G-Carrier ready to launch. Launching Gundam. And it slides forward. It's really cool. It's a really cool, simple sliding feature, but you can have it slide out as fast or as slow as you like. And then you have the Gundam here ready to go. Um, now you can also take the G carrier out of here. There is a one to one, one to one hundred scale kit that is just the G carrier and the Gundam. Um, the one to one forty fourth I liked because it had the whole dock. Uh, but you can see here the G carrier has been replicated really well. It's got the wheels. It's got the whole details the stairs to go up for maintenance and it's got the attachment point here so on the actual uh we'll pull the gundam off here on the actual full size one this part just slides down but on this kit you can actually um, pop this up and out and adjust it lower so if you want the gundam kneeling or doing different kind of poses you have that option here um, so you can actually readjust this however you wish, which is pretty cool. But let's put this aside and take a look at this Gundam itself. I apologize in advance if the white balance goes crazy. This is the problem with shooting a character that is mostly white plastic. Let's take a look at the Gundam. So this is a brand new design. Uh, they originally toyed with the idea of making the Yokohama Gundam the exact same design as what we saw in the anime or the original RX-78 statue at Gundam Base. But Yoshiki Tomino burst in and said, why are you making the same thing we've already made before? Change the design. And so they did. And there was also some other changes made in order to accommodate like real world physics, especially with things like the elbows. But what you actually got was a really nice, sleek, slim version of the Gundam. I really like how lean this guy is. It's pretty cool, especially when you consider like the head is pretty much spot on to the original Gundam design. But it's very detailed, and this is a very detailed kit. You can see there's a lot of panel lines, which I'm definitely going to go back and do some kind of work on, because it looks really amazing. But you can see it's got a slimmer torso, there's less room for a cockpit area, um, you know, nice modern aesthetics, while also invoking the classic RX-78. And to bring this forward enough, I'm going to bring in good old entry-grade RX-78, so you can kind of see the differences, where this is a lot more blocky and, you know, Sort, sort of chunkier, just because it's that 70s anime design. This is more of a slim, modern design, and I, I like it a lot. I think it's a great redesign. In fact, if they use something similar to this in the Gundam live-action movie, whenever that comes to be, I wouldn't mind it. Now, the interesting part about this kit is that uh, it does replicate the original uh, Gundam, the life-size Gundam itself, by having closed hands, as well as a pair of open hands there, but it does actually come with an assortment of weapons. So because of that, it does have a lot more articulation than the full-size model does. So let's take a look. We got the head on a, it's a double, it's that standard polycap double ball joint you'd expect. Um, shoulders, they move, you know, 360, they, they swing out. He's got a bicep swivel, which is on that, that circular part. Double joint elbow, um, which actually is probably about the range the full-size one has. Ball joint wrist, that's a little bit more. 
Uh, then we've got a waist that turns back and forth. It actually crunches forward a little bit before it comes apart. Um, does leave a little bit of crunch forward. Hips move out. They move uh, forward. They can kind of, they can't really move back because the back skirt. The knees bend. Uh, unlike the full size one, these panels don't slide. They are static. And then the ankles do pivot and adjust with the cover guard there as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So overall, fairly good articulation. But as I say in my reviews, what good is articulation without accessories? So accessory wise, he gets a brand new shield design, brand new beam rifle design, two open hands and two beam sabers in addition to a trigger finger hand for that beam rifle. Attaching accessories is what you'd expect, except there's a little panel here that has to come off in order to have the peg for the shield. But once you get that off there, you peg the shield in, you're good to go. So as you can see here, the shield and the beam rifle fit in with the aesthetic of the F-00, and it's really nice to see. I like that the kits do come with weapons because it does make them more interesting kits. I personally am not really going to display them like this because I want to have a more replica of the full size one on my display, but I like the options and the articulation is really good. I like the fact you can hold a shield as an actual shield and nothing's too restricted there. So here is the beam saber as well as the beam shield on the back, uh, which just pegs in. Same peg as the one on the arm. I just like, I like the weapon options. It's really cool. Uh, it, it's nice to see because, you know, it didn't need to exist because it doesn't exist on the full size model, but it makes a nice action figure. So if you're wondering the relative size of the Gundam and its dock to other kits, uh, we're going to start off with some RX-78s. So we got the Origin and the Intergrade and the Revive. So you can see that they're all basically in the same size class. We also have the Gundam Universe figure, Micro Roars and SD Gundam. Hello Kitty Gundam, Robot Spirits Perfect Gundam, Alex 2.0, Master Grade Double Zeta Verka, Master Grade MSK, Master Grade 3.0, Injection Machine, A Gundam Blanket, Gundam Movie Trilogy, Gundam G Generation Crossrite, Bato, Scare Glow, That's a mate. It wait, no, 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 no. Remember, remember, when you when you're putting fruit down, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. So that does it for the review of the 1144 scale RX-78 F00 Gundam and G Doc. If this is something that you really, really, really want, it'll be worth it for you at whatever price you can find it at. Personally speaking, uh, this was just under 100 bucks for me. I bundled it in with some Kamen Rider items to kind of hopefully make the price worth it. Um, it. It was still worth it to me. This was something I really wanted. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it to Gundam Factory Yokohama while it is open uh, because of, you know, ex extenuating life circumstances beyond my own control. Um, but... You know, I wanted to have a replica of this if I can never go see the full-size one in person. Uh, and so this meant a lot to me to get this, and I'm really happy I did. Uh, it retails for about 2,700 yen at the Gundam Factory Yokohama shop, so keep that in mind if you're looking for it. It's not something I can recommend to everybody. It's not something everybody's going to want. It's a very specific crowd, especially if you're not traveling to Yokohama uh, for the Gundam itself, or you live outside Japan. It's a little bit harder to get, and so because of that, it is a mild recommendation. If it is something you desperately want, then go for it. You will decide what price is worth it to you. Um, and that's pretty much all I got to say. So overall, solid kit. Really happy to have it. And thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite Gundam series. That's all I got for this moment. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for future uploads. I think I might do something for this uh, anniversary of my channel. This is kind of the special video for the special day, but uh, I might do something else special later on. Uh, we'll see what comes to my mind as time progresses. Also, be sure to check out my awesome graphic artist on Twitter at DarkClaw643. He does art commissions. Go check him out. And check out Hero Club at hero-club.com, as, well as, as well as on social media at Hero Club for the number four, life. Um, we are doing all kinds of cool stuff over there, and near in the future... There will be some awesome things. Check out Ninja Talks Live every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern over on the Visible Ninja YouTube channel and the Hero Club for Life Twitch channel. Um, if you like Mecha, if you like Tokusatsu, we pretty much cover both and a few things in between. So if you enjoy that, go check out our live show on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. And that does it for the video. So until next time, this is out saying goodbye.